This month and like dual pole Doppler radar is tracking some cloud coverage and that's foreshadow what's to come for later on into the afternoon and evening. Way up to the north and west, we're tracking our next inbound cold front. That's going to give us a brief relief when it comes to the heat and humidity. We're certainly going to be feeling that for this afternoon, but a little bit more clouds will be a part of the forecast, at least throughout the first part of your Wednesday. Looking at the slight to marginal risk of severe storms for this evening. Again, isolated to scattered threats. Some of these storms could be producing damaging winds and also large size hail that could prompt few warnings across the area, so keep yourself weather aware, especially as we get beyond your dinner time hour. Let's get the full timeline. This is 7 o'clock, getting beyond daybreak, right into the early afternoon. We're looking at partly cloudy to mostly cloudy conditions, a mixture of sunny clouds, but the clouds is going to be uh, widespread. Then more scattered threat of showers and thunderstorms, depending on how much sun we get throughout the afternoon. That's going to give that's going to be a real uh, game changer when it comes to tracking the instability with this cold front approaching from the northwest. Six o'clock for this afternoon, scattered threat of showers and thunderstorms as this cold front arrives, generating a swath of showers and thunderstorms. It could be on the stronger side as we get close around eight and nine o'clock. Then as this cold front arrives and passes throughout the entirety of the region, we're looking at some post frontal development of showers and storms approaching midnight tonight. So all throughout the evening, we could be facing some scattered chances of showers and storms. Again, very isolated to scattered risks. Some of these storms could be producing damaging wind gusts and large size hail between the hours of 5 and 10 o'clock for this evening. How much rainfall we're we looking at? Again, if some heavy downpours could produce upwards to a half an inch to an inch of rainfall, and this could be the final round of showers and thunderstorms as we get closer to this weekend and beyond that. Here's a live shot outside downtown Omaha looking out to the east. Our Douglas Tower camera again, a mixture of sunny clouds for daybreak, 68 degrees with dew points in the lower 60s, southeast wind of 11 miles an hour. So evening storms possible. Also, dew points approaching the upper 60s and lower 70s. That's tropical air, so get prepared to sweat for this afternoon and evening. And this cold front is going to bring a slight change when it comes to wind direction and also how comfortable it feels. Humidity is in the lower 60s when it comes to the dew points. So Thursday and Friday right now is looking delightful. Afternoon highs in the lower 80s. Upper 80s return for Saturday, Sunday, lower 90s. Ooh. Monday, Tuesday, heat and humidity. It's going to be widespread. We're going to be tracking heating seas approaching triple digits as well. And for weather updates anytime, make sure you download.